Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my appearance. We were just outside uh, raking and playing in leaves. <laughs> so uh, I decided to do Walmart delivery today because I really wanted to stick to the budget, which it was still over $200 for the week. And truly, it's ridiculous how much groceries are now. And I try to go off like the 100 per person rule and we have five in our family. However, with inflation, it's more like 150 a person now. <laughs> so what's 150 times five? 750? Um, I think, is that the right math? I don't know. Anywho, uh, but that's pretty much right on par. And this week I didn't do everything organic, like the milk and all that. I didn't go crazy because I was really trying to rein it in. If I would have went organic on everything, like milk, cheese, everything, I would have spent like well into the 300s. So, I didn't do that <laughs> uh, this week, but next week maybe we'll hop back on that train because it is, let's be real, it is better for you. So with that being said though, I'm trying better, not for perfection. So it is what it is. And this week, just the same budget, I decided to cut back on that, which is perfectly okay. Anyway, I got the garbage out of my fridge, or like the stuff that went bad. There wasn't a whole lot, thank God. And I still have grapes from the last grocery pickup here i just washed and i'm gonna put them in here just to make sure we go through them because i just ordered more grapes from walmart so anyway my little helper over here is washing the fridge i'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around do something different i'm gonna show you the fridge before groceries and the snack drawer before and then we'll flip it around and i'll show you what it looks like after so yeah let's see what's in my fridge i'll start with can you believe it guys it's almost clean. <laughs> I did the dishes today. And my stove isn't completely disgusting. Look at that fancy, um, it's called a French oven. I'm assuming because it's oval, but it's cast iron. I haven't used it yet. I just got it from Aldi the other day. I hopped on that right on Wednesday. Very excited. And we also got, my husband went to, down the aisle of Shane. This was not planned yeah, and got this baby. cast iron. Hang on. Got this cast iron for 10 bucks. We still have to season it and stuff, but I'm just putting it up here for now. Anyway, uh, this is where we keep our medicine up top, just like the medicine we would use more frequently. The rest of the stuff's up in the bathroom. This shelf is for bread, bagels, English muffins, tortillas, things like that. We have a couple left. Um, I ended up buying some low carb this time. Uh, I got some more bread and this doesn't usually go here, but kids vitamins. And then this is all we have for potatoes. We have some potatoes left acorn squash. I still haven't made this and I still haven't made that one. Uh, I did get a recipe for mac and cheese with butter and squash in there and I made banana bread yesterday and still have two more bananas. So I can make banana bread here in another couple days. Have bananas there, some garlic, my stocked up on onions. And then over here, I'll show you what the snack drawer looks like. This is it. Nothing crazy. We have like more than a half a box I'll replenish when we get more snacks. Like one applesauce left, some crackers, and that popcorn. And then if we come over here with the chair, this is my life, dirty floor and dirty. Ooh. All right. All right. So here is my fridge before groceries. This is our last thing of butter. Um, almost out of peanut butter, but that we have some in, it's like our little pantry on the side of the fridge here. Uh, we're gonna need more jelly next week too. But anyway, this is what we have going. This is a tiny bit of heavy whipping cream left, a little bit of sour cream left. Those are the condiments down there. And then in the veggie drawer, we have lettuce, lots of carrots. They had to substitute last time I did my last haul. So I got two bags, they weren't organic, but that's fine. And then some limes left. And then this is the kids snack drawer. It's pretty stocked well. Uh, we got these from Costco a little while back. And then we have some of these like fruit friends. Finley doesn't like them, but Allie does. So those are hers, she loves peaches. And we have clementines and apples. I didn't have to really get any of this kind of stuff this time. This is open for the kids to grab when they'd like, or we pair like things in there with lunch, all that. Um, some wine. <laughs> We drank a little bit on uh, trick-or-treating night on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. Uh, some orange juice, milk, and then some Coke for Justin's beverage of choice last weekend. I have to use a spinach up in the next day. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna bag it up and freeze it. 
I found Finley like smoothies and I can stick that in there. He has no idea. <laughs> uh, we usually do smoothies like once a night, once a week with dinner. It's usually when Justin's working. It's been kind of our fun thing. Uh, I still have a whole head of lettuce. We have like a couple eggs left. My, I ran out of the ones for my egg lady. And this is all we have in the cheese drawer. We have some coquita cheese, some parm cheese, a couple of these siete uh, tortillas, stuff for biscuits and gravy, which we'll use this week. Still haven't made that, it's been like weeks now. Uh, some yogurt, and I stocked the juice boxes the other day from Aldi. I did not film that haul, that's when we got the cast iron. All right, this is what the fridge looks like. Hold on. And this is what our freezer looks like. It's kind of a hot mess, honestly. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I didn't get a ton of freezer stuff, but yeah. So we, have, we haven't even opened the big old bag of chicken nuggets. I don't think I filmed that Costco haul. Uh, a little bit of ice cream, some beef. I think there might be one more thing of chicken left. I don't know, but tonight for dinner, since it's just me and the kiddos, I think um, this can be Finley for breakfast, these French toast sticks. I think we're gonna do some fish sticks. And I still have these acai packets, and then some peas and our fruit for the smoothies. Some popsicles that I'm getting in. But yeah, nothing crazy. And down here, I still have, oh yeah, we do have chicken, okay. I have some mac and cheese, some beef, one thing of chicken from Costco, and lots of cauliflower, which has to be messed up. Maybe we'll eat that tonight. Yeah, that is the fridge uh, and freezer. Once, I believe her name is Karen, funny enough. <laughs> once Karen comes and delivers the groceries from Walmart, I'm gonna bring them in, set them up over here, and show you everything we got. I don't know the total right now because there was a couple things they didn't have. Some stuff is weighted, like the meat and all that. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, uh, real quick, actually, I will go through our meal plan for the next week. So this today is Monday, and this is going to last us until Sunday. I decided to switch it up. I'm going to start going shopping on Sundays. I feel like just mentally, I'm like the type of person that likes that like Sunday reset. Now that Finley's in school and Monday's like a new week, you know? So I want to start doing that and resetting the fridge and meal plan and all that. Trust him, budget. But anyway. Um, I'm going to give this little one some vitamins and go get the meal plan and tell you guys what that is. All right, guys, here are the dinners for the week. Chicken spaghetti, tacos. I'm going to do Zuppa Toscana soup, grilled cheese and tomato soup, and beef and broccoli. Also, I'm going to film each night what they look like, like a what's for dinner, but like short inversion, short inversion for the, um, like on YouTube shorts. I'm going to start doing those weekly and yeah. This is what's for dinner. Right, guys, week. here it is. Me and my little helper, Allie, went ahead and set this up. The only thing not shown here is some paper towels over here. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I got to check the price. I'll have it in the title, but I'm not sure right at the second because we just got it. Uh, but this is definitely well over $200. So it's kind of crazy how, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess we got some good stuff. So, you know, let's just get into it. Okay. I got some of this uh, Ole Wellness Wraps. I got some, let's we'll start back here, Sun Chips. And I'm pretty sure I thought I got the green bag. They're so good, like the onion and sour cream and onion ones or whatever they were. I haven't had these in so long. <laughs> so I got these for a snack, but oh well. Uh, I got a family size of Ritz, some English muffins. And then I'm not going to the egg lady this week, so I just grabbed uh, these organic eggs. I got some of these popcorn chips, some white cheddar. Figured that'd be good for a side for lunch or something for the kids. I got some more goldfish, two cans of green beans, a can of beef broth for one of my recipes. I got a bundle of cilantro, some strawberries, which honestly are not looking too good. I think I'm going to stop buying strawberries for a little while because... It's unfortunate because those are Finley's absolute favorite fruit, but they've just been really bad or not at all <laughs> the last couple weeks. So, and they are out of season. Got these grapes. Look at how big these freaking grapes are. They're massive. I got those. <laughs> I got some blue corn tortilla chips. I got some Italian sausage for the Zuppa Toscana soup I'm making, which I think I'm going to use my Dutch oven over there for the first time. 
uh, two packs of the thick bacon, one for that soup and one for breakfast. I got some broccoli flour. It's got a massive bag. Me and Allie love broccoli and Justin loves broccoli too. So grab that. And some of this is going to be for the uh, beef and broccoli. Got some hash browns just to stick in the freezer. One pizza. We might do this tonight for dinner. We'll see. I just wanted something really quick for dinner for me and the kiddos tonight. And I got Caesar salad and that's usually what we do with pizza. We have uh, pizza and salad. I got these turkey patties for the beef. Tiny bit better, not much, but. <laughs> and then I got a ton of baby food. It's funny because I just got gifted like 20 things of baby food. And <laughs> so I didn't really have to buy it this week, but I found that out after I ordered, which is fine. She shouldn't be on baby food too much longer. She's just like not really into table food right now. So it is what it is and we're going with it. Uh, down here, I got this. Walmart actually is a really, really big variety of grass fed beef, which is kind of surprising to me. It's a little bit pricey. Uh, this is going to be for the beef and broccoli. I don't, this looks way bigger on camera. I don't think this is going to be enough. But we'll see. I might have to get some more. I got some ham. Justin wanted to do a ham and cheese sandwiches with tomato soup for the week for lunches or for lunch. So I grabbed that. Grabbed a tomato. I figured we could do BLTs. I grabbed, the, I'll just put a hole in there. Grabbed some tomatoes for salads. Some more of the baby food. I got two loaves of just regular standard white bread. Needed some olive oil. Grab that. Grab two boxes of this mac and cheese. Sugar we're running low on in the pantry. We've been baking up a storm, so I grabbed another thing of that. Or a coffee for the week. I just grabbed this Dunkin'. It was on sale, so. I'm not picky with coffee whatsoever, if you can't tell <laughs> by my hauls. Grabbed some apple juice. I ran out of oil, and I just like to have a backup of that. We don't fry a ton of stuff, but it's nice to have it on hand when we do feel like frying something. Every once in a while, like last night, I pan fried, but not a ton of oil. Um, I pan fried chicken with a bunch of seasonings and panko breadcrumbs and then we had mashed potatoes with it and it was just so good It's like so com like a comfort type of meal. So I like to have that on hand. It is the season. It is fall uh, Okay over here. Like I said, I showed you Caesar salad I got some one more thing of butter. We have another we have like one and a half of these left from Costco so I grabbed a Kobe and Monterey Jack and a medium cheddar. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shred this up myself I got, ooh, almost dropped it. Got some more sour cream, some more heavy whipping cream for a couple recipes. I grabbed this body armor drink. Uh, I am breastfeeding my daughter and I just feel like I've has show, had a little bit of dip in supply lately. So she doesn't seem satisfied, but she is going through a pretty gnarly sleep regression right now and getting teeth. So I'm not really sure, but this was always my go-to to help with that. So I grabbed that, grabbed one gallon of milk, Cal for that soup, they gave me a, a lot of kale. <laughs> uh, got grabbed some Rice Krispies, and that is because I have like half a bag of the giant marshmallows for um, like grilling, uh, not grilling, for s'mores, like the giant ones you get. And I need to get those used up. They're not expired, they're not stale. I just need to use them. So I grabbed this box. We're gonna make our Krispy treats this week. I grabbed some Honey Nut Cheerios and non kid related. Um, I just grabbed some BB cream for me, some lady products. The time has come again. Lord, help me. I lasted 10 months without it. <laughs> I grabbed some head and shoulders. My scalp has been really dry lately, and that's kind of comes with the season, literally. <laughs> so I grabbed that. And we don't give our kids melatonin generally, but Allie's been having the hardest time falling asleep this last week. And with Molly not sleeping good and Allie waking up 15 times a night. I'm hoping if I just give her like one milligram, if that even helps a little bit. It's not something you're supposed to give your kid every night. I know plenty of moms who do, but I prefer not to do that. We did it with Finley because when we would give it to him, this is kind of long winded, but um, he would have awful nightmares. So, and I'm convinced once we stopped it, he was good. So it's been a while since we've had that in our house, but anyway. Gonna see if that helps, just a little boost maybe. I'm not sure, but we'll see how tonight goes. Anyway, here is everything that we got. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge. I'll show you what that looks like when we have a full fridge. All right, groceries are put away. This is restocked, kind of. <laughs> Let's look at the snack drawer. 
that is looking much more full. And then I ended up putting the baby food. This is kind of like my baby food slash our snacks type thing. That's stocked. And then if we come over here, I already put the pizza in the oven. So this is what it looks like. No, nice and stocked for the week. And then I put those couple freezer things in there. Nothing crazy there. Then I put the rest of the stuff in here. I didn't show you over here, but and the rest of the stuff in here. And I actually had a couple more boxes that I forgot we got from Costco. So I just put one of those in the snack drawer too. But yeah, this is what it's looking like after grocery shopping. Yeah, we're going to have that Caesar salad tonight for dinner, too. Kind of sweaty now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, bringing in all the groceries, putting them away, doing all that with a newly three-year-old. Let me tell you, it's kind of intense. But we got it done. Pizza's in the oven. It is already 5 o'clock. Molly, I need to wake her up. She's been napping for like an hour and a half now. Bless. She has not been napping, so this is nice. But it is 5. She needs to wake up, so she goes to bed tonight. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this style of grocery haul, I don't even know what you would call it. Let me know. <laughs> um, I really want to try to do one. I did one a while back. I'll post a link to it in the description box. And it was like the style of, I don't know if you guys follow her. name is Jackie. Her channel is called The Grocery, or grocery Addict. It was Aldi Addict, but she changed it to Grocery Addict a little while back. And I love how she does her hauls. She walks to the store, says the price, grabs the item, that kind of thing. And I really enjoyed that. So I did that one haul and I'll link that how I did that. And if you guys want to see more like that, let me know. Because I do just have to time it out. I don't like going in the store when it's like super busy. It's like a whole thing. Anyway, this video is super long. I'm going to cut it off now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.